Welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2 Second Impact. So, I blew my chance to get Orion in the last video again. Yes, I, I am horribly embarrassed, just like I should be. So what I've done is I've just reloaded to an earlier state before the Cylons took it, and Alt Einstein. I'm just gonna super cheat technology just to build a ship. I'm gonna buy it, and I'll just show you sort of what uh, what it's like fighting the Guardian, and you know ways you can beat it. Since I've got, like, super technology here, we can put on some pretty good stuff. Uh, I'm going to be going with phasers. I think I will be using this type of weapon a lot later in the Let's Play, so here's an exciting preview. And that should be enough. Yeah, that's got all the key things on it. No automated repair unit, but... Alright, so we're just gonna buy that. Hit turn once. Make whatever you want. I don't care. Oh, please stop me if you can micromanage. And I forgot to start the timer, so that'll make things interesting. Alright, so we're just gonna send it to Orion, send these guys to Orion, and you'll get to see a couple interesting things. Alright. Orion's attack. The Guardian's attacking me. First off, it's got only class 5 shields, which aren't too bad. Um, it's 125. It renders, I don't know, it renders basically nukes pretty much useless. But, um, so like, you can't use the murdering nuke strategy. The other thing is, it has an automated repair unit, so you can't really, you gotta do at least 500 damage, so you need pretty decent offense is your main limiting factor. Now this ship happens to have a fair bit of it, uh, you know, like that. Um, as soon as you can get auto-fire Gauss cannons or auto-fire phasers, you should be able to beat it, even if you don't have um, a lot of these other technologies, like the Achilles target. Just a couple ships with auto-fire phasers should be able to mow down, or even normal phasers, or normal Gauss cannons. Uh, the big thing is you just need to be able to hit it. Sorry, that was just too loud. You just see some ships fly over Orion. Alright. So. We got Orion now, and as part of the Orion bonus, you get Admiral Lochnar and his ship. He's pretty much the best ship officer in the game. And, uh, you get a pretty badass ship, the Avenger. It's... Basically, it's very similar to an Antaran ship, you know, the ones that they send to attack you. Um, for multi-purpose use, it's probably slightly better. Uh, we'll do one fight with it, uh, just so you can see it in action. We'll attack this place. So, we'll cut to the chase and get the Avenger here. It can subspace teleport, so that's pretty fun. Uh, I'm just gonna fire a couple death rays. Alright, now we'll fly over, board it, and capture it. We've got the starbase already. We'll fire on the planet. And, yeah. It's packing 15 neutronium bombs. That's pretty good, too. We'll just run away with everyone else. Unlike Master of Orion, you don't get a whole bunch of special technologies from the planet, uh, you get them from Admiral Walker, so he gave me four special technologies. Uh, it didn't announce it because I used the old Einstein cheat and it didn't, he didn't have anything he could give me, but usually you get dampering fields. You always get death ray and then three of the following, uh, dampering field, reflection field, quantum detonator, zentronium armor, particle beam, uh, black hole generator. I can't think of any of the other ones now. But that's the gist of it. 
So, that's what it would have been like if I had taken Orion. Just for the record, I don't think I quite had the fleet to take it out. Uh, I think if I had to research phasers, I could have, but uh, the Cylons deserve it, so we're going to go back to that. And yet again, I am not the master of Orion. I'm not too embarrassed about it, though, I guess, because, uh, to be fair, early on in this Let's Play, like, everything bad was happening, and it was happening to me, and only really me, and I survived, and I was positive that I was going to lose. So... Uh, I actually don't feel too bad about not getting Orion because I had a pretty unusual amount of hardship early on. And it is my fault, really, because, uh, you know, I didn't open up diplomacy with the Sacker really early on, and now you know how important that is to get that early first treaty so that every turn your, your relations go up a little bit rather than down a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's important. Target ship's just out of range. I will be boarding them really quickly. Alright. Go forward just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have the Artemis bring down the shields on a different ship, actually. Out of range. Just a bit more. Capture the ship. All attackers eliminated. Whoops, I should have fired a bit more on it. Well, let's kill their friends. This will be interesting. They've got a pretty good defense force here, and I messed up pretty early on in the fight, so... Alright. Nine Marines left on board. Now there are zero. Ship capture. Um, I'm not going to rush forward any farther than that. I may try blowing up this ship, though. Sweet. Um, we only get one boarding action per turn. I think this one has transporters as well. No, it doesn't. Do you? Yes, you do. Alright. We're going to... I think that shield arc is down, so I'm actually going to try getting down into that region. Yeah. 19 killed. Dang, they have one dude left on that battle station. I bet he's kind of scared and alone now. Take it like a champ. That ship's immobilized. I forget if it has an auto repair unit or not. And now they're boarding me? Uh-oh. station is ours. I don't know how long it's going to last. My ships kind of took a obscure pounding early on. Alright, there's a little bit of progress. Um, there's a pretty good number of marines on board, so I'm going to leave it. Yeah, raid it all you want, just don't take it over. Capture that ship. And that ship's pretty much useless now, but... No one's left alive on board, so we can capture it with one marine. Now we have full control of those other ships we captured as well, because we're telepathic. So I may actually come out a little bit ahead in this fight. Holy cow. The nice 
nice thing, of course, is with transporters you don't have to disable the ship, so they last much longer. Don't die. Alright, well, we got one. Not bad. Alright, and I'm gonna call it at that for this video. I'm gonna research galactic unification, because I want uh, to get that production bonus. Alright, I'll see you next time.